Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Tushua Community. I am Ima Rafaya, and we're back with you, daughters, for just a brief moment to share with you a scripture to encourage your hearts and to let you know that our, new, our site has been revised. So you're going to enjoy the new content that we have for you all, but I always like to come before you, daughters, to encourage you with truth. The only way we're going to make it in this hour, daughters, is that we must hear truth. And you must hear the righteous leaders that are set before you. There are not many today, daughters, that are following this Torah truth. But when you find a righteous messenger, take heed, shemak, obey, and stay in a straight and narrow way. But our scripture today is coming to you from Proverbs chapter 16, and I want to read verses 2 through 4. And it reads, All the ways of a man, all the ways of a woman, are clean in his own eyes or clean in her own eyes. But Yahweh weighs the Ruah. So, daughters, we have to understand that always, if we don't cast everything about me, it's wicked, corrupt. When I rise in the morning, my thoughts are corrupt. So when I pray, I have to let y'all know how vile and how unclean I am. And then I have to ask Almighty Yah to order my steps aright. Not my ways, y'all, but your ways. I commit my way unto you this day. Commit thy works unto Almighty Yah, and your thoughts shall be established. So if you commit your thoughts, what you want, say, not my will, Yah, but your will be done, then Yah will order your steps aright. Yah has made all things for himself, all things. Yes, even the wicked, for the day of evil, even the wicked. There's a purpose that the wicked are here. There's a purpose that the righteous, there are not many righteous. As it was in the day of Noah, so shall it be in the day of the coming of Yahshua HaMashiach. So we have to understand that the wicked are here for their purpose and the righteous are here for their purpose. But there's one thing that Yah tells us to do. He says, commit. So what do you think that means? To give charge, to trust, to entrust, to hand over. We must hand over our ways, our thinking, the way we do things. And we must trust and have confidence in Yahshua HaMashiach. He has brought us to this hour, daughters. And he set before us every day. He said, choose this day, either righteousness or wickedness. Today I choose righteousness for my health, for my well-being. And you must do the very same thing. So we told y'all that everything he does for us in this hour is right. Can I tell you, there's nothing that happens upon this O-line that y'all's not in charge of. He's in charge of everything that happens to us. So today, daughters, I want to again encourage you, let us choose righteousness over the wicked. We can do what's right every day. We just ask Yahweh, when we pray, Yahweh, take charge of this right here. You are the only one in charge of your mind. You must ask Almighty Yahweh to help you in everything that you do, the labor that you do for that day. Ask Yah to help. Hallelujah. I need help. I can't do anything without Almighty Yah. But again, we greet you all. Be encouraged. Press every day. We'll be putting up uh, videos at least once a week to share with you what we do here, how we encourage each other, how we correct each other. And can I tell you, it wasn't me that's going to be putting up these videos. It's a whole honor. I know you're not uh, familiar with her much, but she's our sister that's in charge of our, uh, with our sister side, and she works with the young daughters. And the young doors will be putting these videos up every week for you all so that you can stay encouraged. So Yahweh Baruch you, much ahava to you all, and we'll see you next week. Shalom, shalom.